Hey there, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to create uh, an asset source for uh, Sendry that allows editors to create a custom layout for their images based on data. So in this case, we're going to reproduce this layout, uh, which allows a variable to share their pages, to add a sharing image to their pages that is unique uh, and also brings a little bit of uh, visual interest in social media feeds. Okay, so um, I already have it live uh, and I'm gonna follow the co last commit that I did and guide you through the process. Okay, so first thing you're gonna do is you're going to open your CMS. In this case, here it's my CMS folder. And then I'm going to do yarn add sanity plugin asset source OG image. It's a quite long name, but uh, we do need the Sanity plugin at the start. Okay, um, while that is going on, I'm going to explain to you the process. So uh, we need, I'm going to open the documentation here, Hdoro asset Sanity plugin asset source OG image. Um, we need to first define a layout, which is this. Um, that is done through a JavaScript object that includes a name that is unique, kind of like we do for schemas in Sanity, a name and a title. The title is visible to users only when we have one or more layouts. Um, the component is the React component that actually renders the preview that we saw. The prepare function that is um, generated, that, that is what takes the current document and generates the initial data. And the fields is the thing that editors are going to be able to edit uh, to see the changes live in the layout. And finally, the dimensions. So say you want to do a WhatsApp uh, image generator, then you're probably gonna do 256 by 256, Instagram 180 by 180 and stuff like that. Uh, the default is 1200 by 60. I'm going to show you what that looks like in practice. So um, I'm going to start by coming here in parts and I'm going to create OG image editor.js. Uh, let me just make sure I got the name right. Yes. Um, now I am going to first start by importing React from React and then uh, I'm going to define component equals, it's going to get a title and a subtitle. Uh, if I come back here to the layout, we have a clear title and a subtitle. The logo and the background are static, so we're not going to change that. And I'm going to return a div. Oh, I know I'm also going to need CSS, so I'm going to do OG image editor the module CSS, open it to the side, and then here import CSS from uh, image editor the module CSS, and then here class name equals CSS the root. I am the this CSS file. I'm going to just get the one that I already have. I don't really want to go through CSS here. Um, Okay, and then title, I'm going to do title and h1 and fall back to title missing. And if we do have a subtitle, because we don't need to, then I'm going to do a paragraph subtitle. I also want to wrap these in a div because we're going to do a uh, flex uh, align center for this to be aligned no matter the size of the text and uh, also another div with class name css.logo which is where we're gonna render the full logo um, which i think i deleted maybe no okay so i have this actually logo full that's why okay this is just an svg for this logo here and we finish off with an image with a source of, let me see. <laughs> okay, so um, let me close this. 
in oh, for for the background I could have done CSS and SVGs to generate this um, but as we have a very strict dimension we're not gonna change it I just thought it to be better uh, to just render the image itself so I am going to add this and I'm going to actually discard changes meaning I'm gonna pull this fire back this file back uh, so now it's in sanity static OG background so I can do static OG background dot PNG and then also class name CSS dot PG I think that's it so this is our component the entirety of it it's pretty simple um, as you can see and this allows us to generate this the CSS is the trickier part although it's also pretty simple and then uh, the rest is just defining the other properties that we saw here uh, so now that we have the component what is the name of this layout so we can start with that so now um, export default is actually gonna be an object with name uh, OG image uh, maybe 1200 just so I know um, I don't need a title because we are not gonna have more than one layout I do need a component though which is that that we already built the prepare function is what takes the sanity document so document and renders returns action a ob an object with title document dot and now if we take a look at a page in variable CMS we have this title for internal reference which is the last thing that we're gonna use as a fallback and then we have the title for SEO and also we have the title for the hero so title uh, first let me make sure I know the name of the hero uh, yeah so it's hero and if I take a look at page hero um, it's title okay so I get the document I'm, the title is gonna be document dot hero if hero exists title or document dot seo type or document dot eternal type and if, if if we don't have any of those then it's going to be empty and in the template we're going to say title missing and the editor is always going to be able to go in and change that then subtitle is document dot um here well the document dot seo description let's do just did that I think that that's the name yeah SEO description okay so title subtitle that's the prefer prepare function now we're telling uh, the plugin how to handle the document then we can do uh, the fields um, it's what you already used to with Sendry uh, Sendry schemas so I do a name which is going to be title and then title and it's a string I'm going to duplicate this and do subtitle. Subtitle is a text. So we're good here. And if we take a look at the properties, now we're only missing dimensions. As we're doing 1200 by 630, which is the default, we don't need to change that. So we're good. We've defined our layout. So just recap we have a name, unique. Uh, we have a component, React component that renders the actual layout. That is eventually going to turn into an image the prepare function which gets the current document we're navigating and returns the data that we need in this case again it's title and subtitle so we do that and then the fields that editors are going to be able to change um, i'm good with this and now i'm going to go into um, my sites.page and now we're gonna add this layout to the actual uh, site.page uh, OG image field. Okay, so I'm going to run send start while that is going on. And now I'm going to import. I have not finished uh, all the TypeScript definitions, but we do know we have media editor. That's the root app that we use for generating the image. Okay, so we have media editor and we have the 
OG image viewed. So I'm going to open an options, um, an options object. Here we are going to do sources. Sources is an array. The first one is going to be uh, generate OG image, and the title is going to be generate sharing image, and the icon. Well, let's do this, and then palette. Okay, just a quick, simple Unicode emoji. I could also do sanity uh, icons, and then the component, if I'm not mistaken, let me just make sure. Again, you can always refer to the documentation. Um, yeah, component takes in props and then uh, returns the media editor. We first need to spread all the props. Here we get the current documents, we get the on close to handle when the asset source is closed, also like to actually, to actually submit the image and stuff like that. So we do need to pass down these props. Um, and then we have layouts. In the layouts, now we can do, oh, actually, wait, what am I doing wrong? Oh, right, I forgot this. Okay, so we first start with the OG image editor, which um, I don't think, oh, there we go. Uh, which is that file that we built, the actual layout. And, we are not going to do anything else. Actually, I do also want to offer the opportunity to choose from the library. So I am also going to go into my asset source uh, file, the part, just to know which is the, the one that I want, the default. I'm going to import it here and media asset source. I'm also going to put that um, as a source. So we start with that and then the generate cherry image. So if I save this now, my hopes is that when I open, oh, actually that I missed something here. I did a button. Uh, when I open site.page, um, my expectation is that I'm now going to be able to select that uh, given asset source and then see the layout. Okay, so if I go into page and I go into this kitchen sink, or am testing things. Now you see there is a drop down for select. Uh, React is not defined. You're probably going to face this. Okay, so that just means that we use React here, down here, uh, where we do this component and uh, we do JSX here. We need to import React for every file that we use that. Okay, so now that's rebuilding. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Okay, now again, select. Now you can see generate sharing image. When I click on that, I am uh, greeted with this ugly, ugly uh, layout because we didn't uh, do the CSS yet, but we can see we have the logo, we have the background, uh, we can change the hero title and the SEO description. If I were to click on generate here, then you would uh, save this image that we're seeing here. As we don't want that, I am just going to click on this close button, come back to the code. Now we are going to work on the, the module.css here. So I'm going to open that. Okay, uh, this one, I'm going to be very honest and just discard the changes because I want it as it was. Okay, so you're gonna see here we are declaring font faces because we are using a custom font. This custom font, uh, we have a static file for it, which is what we're using. Um, this one specifically is not available in Google Fonts or Web Typekit or anything like that. It's actually a licensed font, so we have the source files. But I would encourage you to uh, get instead of doing uh, imports through the source being uh, from Google Fonts API or CDN, I would encourage you to download it. And there is just search for Google Fonts local and you're going to find some guides on that because this is going to speed up the plugin and it's going to make it more reliable. 
Okay, uh, so I'm declaring the font face and then I have some stuff. So the root is something very important here. Uh, usually you want to define a background for it. So that's a first thing. Second, you want to define a height 100%. So then it uh, occupies the whole dimension of your, uh, of your container, the dimensions you defined for your layout. And then some other stuff, nothing too big. For example, the background is position absolute. It's at the, the background of everything. Uh, the logo is also position absolute. It's at the bottom right corner. And then we do a display flex to align things at the center. We could also do some sort of uh, style equals and then the font size, say title dot length times uh, or divided by uh, one or 16, I don't know, whatever, uh, whatever process you want for generating a fluid typography size that allows you to, whenever the title is too big, you shrink it. So then the layout isn't too uh, broken if editors want to break it. Um, okay, but now we have that. We also need to uh, set discard the changes of the actual font files. You can see let me open here. Okay, so it's actually in static, so static here. And then if you take a look at the font faces, we are referring to that. Okay, so I'm gonna discard the other one. And that's it. Okay, now um, I'm going to reload. So coming back here, select, generate sharing image. Now we have our layout. This white space is intentional. Uh, it's not gonna be in the actual thing because the actual thing is just here. Um, at the time of recording this, this plugin is not super smart about uh, shrinking the whole viewport for the, the layout. So it's actually recommended if it's bigger than your screen to take the zoom uh, away a little bit so then you can see it. So uh, I'm going to generate an image right from sending to rock in social media and then a, an emoji because we can do that too. And then here I'm not going to include the description. Um, so say that's the final thing. I can click on generate. The plugin is going to turn that into a PNG upload it to Sanity, and as soon as, there we go. All right, so if I even click on view image or maybe copy image location, I paste it in. I'm just gonna remove the query params here at the top to show the final thing. Uh, here, you can see it worked. Uh, yeah, okay. So this is uh, 18 minutes, sorry for that. Uh, hopefully it helps you see the whole picture and helps you create your own layouts that are super creative and interesting. And if you have created one, please share. We can do a nice library out of those and have a great day. Bye.